you know, was um, started in March and we have had an amazing journey so far and it looks like it's continuing too. So you can see behind me, um, I've put a, a, a whole array of bits of here are some of the um, uh, scrubs that we've made uh, and some of the lucky recipients. So we've got surgeons, doctors, nurses, um, healthcare professionals, uh, midwives. There are, it, it, they've, they've been enjoyed by, by many, many people. Um, on this side, you can see some of the other things that we've done. So we've done some masks and the little Lego things in the, in the at the edge there are um some and things that we did for a young man at john rainley done for uh, children's hospitals because there were a lot of children that were finding it very traumatic being dealt with with people with these masks on so we decided to offer some teddy masks mm. so that it desensitized and, and normalized masks in in the area um, you can just see our little angels in the core thing that, um, that Jill's been gratefully in charge of, which is the Alzheimer's trial that we've, um, we've done, um, which ready to go now by the looks of things. So we've done our stall, just above my head there. Um, and then moving forward, we've the pink thing here wherever mud is there, um, is where we're moving to now. So we're still going to be doing scrubs should it, should it come up, because obviously, you know, things are still going on. We've, all, we've got um, um, a now with knitted knockers, and we have been doing lots of bits and pieces to, um, to help with cancer support. So we've been doing these little things. take this background off and then you'll um but so I we've got this yeah. little thing can you see no and this um, is sorry. a picture you, you've frozen caroline your, your um, screen has frozen still of you caroline so this is the, the the masks that seem to have been the most popular so i'll i'll sort of take you through these We've um, been using um, a filter, a washable filter inside, which is made um, from non-ironing um, facing um, because it's a woven material rather than cotton, which is which is woven. This is this is blown, so um, it doesn't. You know, it, it's a contrast between the two different kinds of fabric. Um, so. What we've been doing is getting two pieces of fabric, putting them together, and then starting them off with the filter so that uh, it's all over the mask. Okay. So one I prepared earlier, how handy. So all I've done with this one is you've got the two bits of material inside together and then you've got this um, woven material and then all I've done is sewn across this edge. Then I've sewn across the same edge of the next, of a, a backing piece, a contrasting backing piece. And then the idea then is to open them up and put both of the right sides together so that you've got a seam on that side and a seam on that side. So the seat, they're, they're two together. Once you've done that, move on to number three. You then um, sew all along the big edges, the long edges, not the short ones, just the long edges so that it's together. Because you've got a, um, a curve, you need to just slice a couple of the little nicks into it so that when you fold it inside out, it actually sits flat. Okay. Then we've added a 
nose piece. So this is the metal that goes over your nose. Um, now, this is something that has caught, uh, her, you know, has caused a little bit of uh, hoo-ha because eventually the metal does break. Um, but it does stop glasses steaming up because it does anchor to your face. So it goes actually underneath your glasses. So the ones, these ones are sticky. So hence why I'm not having to hold it on. So I don't know whether you can see one side has got a sticky edge on it. Once you've done that, you then turn it the right way round and then anything that has gone wrong inside is hidden from the world. You don't have to worry about anything at all. We, we, we love this. Um, and then you just kind of flatten it out and try and get the edges as straight as possible so that you can sew along this edge. So the first bit you do, I don't know if you can see, you do it, you sew round the metal. So you do a little, there you go, that's easier, can you see? So it comes round across the nose and right over. And then you do the, the edge along there and the edge along there. Okay. Then the edges never match. They just don't, no matter how well you, you uh, cut them. Um, so trim off the edge so it's flat. Fold it over and just sew that edge there. Once you have done that, you fold it over again with some of the ear elastic inside and um, sew another channel and then just tuck the knot. Can you see the knot? There. So you just tuck that inside the thing, inside that little channel. And there he is. So that is, uh, that's how we've been doing. And it seems really easy. And it is once you get going. But please, you know, have a go. Have a go. The, this shape is really easy. If you want a pattern for it, they're all in the drawers outside the house. So um, come and grab a shape. So all you're doing is, is it says on the shape. I think I have one here like that. So it'll say on there, um, cut two of your main material and two facing and two um, backing contrasting colour so that you then get the filter inside, the outsidey bit and a contrasting colour. Can I just ask, the metal bit, because I yes. wear glasses and it drives me mad. I can't see with without them, but I take them off and I can't, you know, while I wear my glasses, I can't see with them either. And so where do you get these metal bits? Because that's just so useful. These are on, on Amazon. Right. So if you, if you, you know, you can get them, you know, anywhere. There are other shops that do them. But uh, yes, that Amazon seemed to be, um, when I was buying them, the, the cheapest for, for bulk. Yeah. And how many is bulk then? Quite a few. I bought a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> yes, well, the thing is that, you know, I have st some of these, some of the stitches are turning over to 10, 15 a week. Um, mm. And we have 62 active stitches. So, yeah, it was pointless buying less than that. Yeah. So, yeah. Gillian's got something to say, Gillian. Uh, yeah, Gillian. A couple things is if you just want a very few number, um, I use pipe cleaners doubled over, the long pipe. Yeah. Oh, thank you. The other, the, other, the other thing is if you're wearing glasses, the trick is to tuck them under yeah. your... Yes. Put the mask on first, then the glasses, and mm. you can stop the steaming up with the old nursing medical trick of smearing soap on your glasses and yeah. just drying it off. And that works a treat. So if I'll you do if that you too, bend it right round and then bend it out, yeah. it will fit right across yeah. your face. So it's just awesome. a case of bending it to make it fit your face. So it will end up a kind of funny... Mm. 
odd shape. So, Alison, have you got? Alison, did you... Yes, yeah, I was going to ask, um, what do they actually call those bits of metal? Mask nose pieces. Okay, Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, have a, have a little play on the uh, search bar on Google. Yeah. It comes up really <laughs> fast because uh, everybody's been ordering them. So um, I yeah. think pipe cleaners. They're probably not as firm, but pipe cleaners are. Yeah. Uh, they created. You do need to buy the long, the long chenille ones and double them up because I made the mistake of at one point when I got an extra supply, they came and they were half the length. So you've got sharp ends, um, yeah. which you don't want. With yeah, the double over them. ones, I wrap them in a, um, a piece of cloth and stitch the ends down so that nothing can dig into you. Mm. But so you do need to buy the long chenille ones. You can get them in Hobbycraft, actually. Thank you. Okay.